So, welcome back. Yet another video. I'm gonna continue trying uh, the butcher. So, in this video, I'm yeah, gonna continue with the wing and sides and, and the topping and finish off the fly. So, um, let's begin. So, now to the fun part. Uh, starting to build the wing of this butcher salmon fly. So, I prepared uh, this one. I think we're going to put it there. And I'm going to lift it a little bit. And there we are. Looking good. And then uh, on the sides on this one, it's uh, actually a breast feather from uh, the Golden Pheasant. So let me add that on each side as well. Just to make sure everything stay together when I'm continue to tie the fly, I'm gonna add uh, um, some layer of varnish. Um, gonna wax the thread first though. It's waxed, so I'm gonna varnish it, and uh, meanwhile, when it's drying, I'm gonna start to create the the wing. So I'm just pulling out some fibers to make sure it stays together. And there you are. Okay, so the wing is built, so let's try to add that one to the fly. There you see the wing. There is the wing. So let me see. And uh, then on top of this one, we're gonna add uh, mallard teal 
and then uh, pita. So I'm gonna prepare that. And I'm also gonna play a little bit more with the wing to get it uh, more straight. Um, I got a bit uh, carried away. I was uh, mixing, uh, working on the wing, and then uh, suddenly I set the the mallard and the pintail. So uh, at least I'm gonna do a video attaching these ones. Sorry for that. Uh, so I use pitta here. Dog is washing his face on my carpet. Eh? Thanks a lot. So let me just add this on. And then I just gonna varnish a little bit, and then uh, um, we need to cut all, all the leftovers up here, and then it's uh, topping time. I think it's going to be good topping. Looks good. Just adjusting it a little bit. There we are. Oh, it's going to be nice. Now it's time to set the topping um, and let's see how that turns out. So I'm just going to uh, change the position of the fly. And slide it in position. You see. So, yet again, a little bit varnish, and the reason I don't cut off the head and make it very, very small is uh, because I, I want to do a hurl head on this one. But uh, in between, when this is dry, um, maybe I do it now. Uh, we need to attach the horns, blue macaw. So let me just varnish a little bit first. it doesn't run away so let's attach the horns first of all I need to um, wax the thread make sure it sticks properly So I start with my side, blue, yellow, macchiato. Let's add the other one. And 
there you go let's zoom out a little bit not in but out there you have the horns we just need to adjust a little bit in the, in the level Oops. there you go so I'm gonna let this one dry out and then we go with the hurl head and then finish up the head and then it's done that's why I have such a long piece in the front so last step hurl head then I finish off the uh, rest of the head and then varnish and shoot the picture and we are done and I don't like small baby heads uh, some people do uh, big fly big head no that's why I don't cut off everything with a razor blade not my style so let's have a look what we can do here then oops And there we are. So, tying it in a little bit. Cutting the leftovers of the ostrich head. I'm gonna back the tread later and go a little bit around that area and then I just gonna apply uh, varnish uh, clear varnish and then black varnish and then uh, the fly is done but I'm not gonna do that in the video you know how, how funny is it to look at the uh, varnish drying so yeah basically that's what we got not gonna shoot the picture after so that's how I do my um, butcher uh, this one of course is uh, you know it's, it's too big to fish with so I intend to, uh, to have it in the frame um, yeah, I got plenty of space to, to hang a few frames on but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in the back here I don't want to have any reflection uh, towards the camera but, but uh, anyhow uh, that's how I do my butcher. Uh, you can do a mixed wing or whatever. I tend to do it married uh, and you fish with it a little bit, you know, 10 cars, 20 cars, it's gonna be a mixed one anyhow. Yeah. I hope you liked uh, the video and uh, I'm gonna add uh, additional videos here and also subscribe button there and uh, you know, uh, I'm so happy for all your support uh, making this channel and uh, moving forward and also um, add a comment uh, add a request of a pattern you want me to try or you know up to you guys you know predator, predator flies, sea trout flies, classic salmon flies you know uh, up to you oh my dog is watching here and he's making some noise yeah <laughs> so that's all for today Thank you very much. I appreciate you all um, that's supporting me. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.